like a god. And wherever Stu went, you know, you would just about bow your head. I think he was the rider that every kid dreamed that he could be. I thought, you know, man, I could be like that, you know, it was like stomping Stu Thompson. Stu was the man back then. In the early days, he had the whole thing going on right away. You know, he was one of the early, if not the one of the first heroes of the sport. That was the first I really saw somebody really want to take Stewart out. Dust is flying everywhere. I mean, it didn't seem like the race was over even at the finish line. And I hear somebody saying, they're fighting, they're fighting. And I look down at the finish line, it had a slight hill there, and I look down at the finish line, and I see these two titans of BMX just going at it. At one point, we were at different levels. And then we leveled off, and we competed against each other, and we raced each other vigorously for years. You know, it's, it's going, to, going to the office every day and battling against all these guys, but obviously battling against your brother-in-law. My brother was also racing, and then they were competing against each other. So it was really difficult, because here I had my husband, and I had my brother, and you know, you have a lot of tension regarding that. Stewart's competitive, but he's not as aggressive as Greg Hill is. You know, so here's Greg just kind of like just nipping at his heels, dude. I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you, you know. And Stewart's probably thinking, damn, dude, just freaking back off. He was very good for Redline. Our company took off in a big way. <laughs> Caston made me an offer, and, and I, at this point in time, BMX was now business for me. You know, I was married, I had a house, you know, I had a mortgage, and I needed to pay bills. You're racing elbow to elbow with him for years. You, you share time with his family. You, you, you become like a brother, you know, tighter than a brother. And he went away. We formed a friendship, all of us formed a friendship, like being at this long summer camp together and going through all these crazy experiences. Like, again, it's kind of like the like band of brothers kind of thing.